back on the broadcast here, Davis Barlow. I am now joined by Brett Loftus. Y'all just saw number 17, Aubrey Yancey, waving up to y'all. So I'm assuming that was directed to someone. So if you're watching, some of the Lady Lions are waving at y'all. Always having a good time. Assuming that's mom and dad is the motion I'm getting from our producer now, Nick Pope. Brett, thanks so much for joining me here, brother. I am so excited, just like Nick Pope was in the game one of two, doing my first ever volleyball game here at Piedmont College. Very interesting stuff. Piedmont able to win in three consecutive sets in game one of this doubleheader. So wouldn't be no reason I feel like Piedmont will take this. Wesleyan, though, started improving those last two two sets there. And, uh, you know, getting beat 25-9 to nine can be demoralizing in the first set. They were able to come back and put 15 and then 18 on the board in sets two and three. So not to be surprised they come back with a vengeance here in this game two. Yeah, steady improvement, which is what you want to see. Again, good teams are resilient. Wesleyan did end up fighting back. It looked very good in that third set. I would say the score, 25 to 18, doesn't even reflect how good Wesleyan looked in that third set. But as we get ready here, a much different starting lineup for the Lady Lions. Brianna King, Aubrey Yancey, number nine, Alina McDonald, who did not see any action in the first game, will be starting here in game number two. Jennifer Herrera will also be out there. Alina Roberts, of course, and then anchoring that middle will be number eight, Hannah Kate Chadwell. And then on the side for the Wesleyan Wolves, Sharon Eno DK, we have number 12, Lativa Ray, number four, Jeremiah Love, number seven, Brittany Davis, number 11, Anaya Hoskins, and then number three, Zoe Redmond. Yeah, some great individual performances from the Wesleyan Wolves. Davis kept him in some plays by herself. Love kept him in some plays as well. Stellar play out of their libero as well. Camila Duncan. And as we get ready, it will be Davis back there. Different libero today for the Lady, or in this game for the Lady Lions. It will be Shaw in that white uniform. Bile will return to a defensive specialist. Early start here. Chadwell put her hand through it. Great hang by Duncan. As the Wolves look to respond, individual block from Chadwell. She'll get called for touching the net as she knows she got caught on that one. Yeah, she tried to come over the top for the block on that one, and she did end up blocking it, but as you said, came over and touched the net. Cannot do that in volleyball. Yeah, refs again, two of them on that center line. They will see anything you do to that net. Roberts handles. Rare sets. It will be King from the back line. Great shot. Duncan down to get it. Beautiful dig. But I think they will call an illegal set. Yes, that is what it is. So an illegal set by the Wolves. We'll hand the point to the Lady Lions. First substitution, McDonald will exit DiCarlo in to serve. And we saw some illegal sets there in game one here today. I just don't think they caught them as much. Kind of tightening up the rules here in the beginning of game number two. Yeah, it was the opening contest for the Lady Lions. The Wolves had only played one before this. Shaking off the rust, but we'll see some calls for palming this time around. Rare able to handle. Good set from DiCarlo. King put her hand through it. Beautiful shot. And Brianna King, we saw her do that at least seven, eight times in game one. And she is going to come across for her first kill in game number two. DiCarlo now. Handled well by Ray. Or excuse me, by Hoskins as that one will go long. And DiCarlo off to a good start back there. And we mentioned Davis as they continue to play better. The Wolves in games, in, excuse me, in two and three of the matches in game number one. They're getting these unforced errors as we see another one there as Duncan tried to reach down and dig that one out. That will she be an ace from DiCarlo. So a great service there again. She's hitting almost a knuckleball with some serious top spin on it. Yeah, it just floats over and then picks up spin. That one's in as well. Back to back aces from Sarah DiCarlo. Speaking of knuckleballs there, reminds me of R.A. Dickey, a former Gotta knuckleballer, used to play that ball just do dove out over the plate, and that's what DiCarlo serve is doing. Hard one this time. I knew you'd find a way to sneak <laughs> some baseball into this. Duncan puts it back over. Roberts, Herrera, middle to Roberts. Good little push shot to the back. Love got it back up front to Ray, handled by Herrera. Set from Shaw. King put her hand through it. Beautiful kill from Brianna King. She's been the standout player today. Yeah, Brianna King is coming over to the net and making it known her presence in these two games. That's her second kill, as you mentioned, in game number two. She had seven in game number one. Hard service yet again. Set. 
Kill attempt will not happen as it's slammed into the net. That was Ray trying to put her hand through it. And this first set starting out much like the first set in game one, then the Lions are already up seven to one here. Carlo continuing her service. Rain it clipped front net. Wesleyan able to hang on. Ray, good shot to the back line, handled by Shaw. Herrera cross court. King, hand through it yet again. Too much to handle for Duncan. As King continues her dominant performance, didn't take a look at the stats at halftime, but Wesleyan's going to want to take a timeout. I'm in between games. Wesley will take the time out here, an early 8-1 lead for Piedmont. You're listening to Piedmont College Athletics on YouTube. Back on the broadcast, inside Cave Arena, Davis Barlow, Brett Loftus, now on the call, Victor Kanyas still on camera, Nicholas Pope over in the producer slot. We're so happy you're joining us for game two. Here is Piedmont, out to an early eight to one lead. And as you mentioned there, Davis, I thought it was interesting. You mentioned during the first game, Wesleyan almost has a roster full of freshmen. Yeah, the lone sophomore on that roster. We'll talk about it in a second as Chadwell puts that one home. Beautiful shot from Hannah K. Chavel. The lone sophomore is Christina Buck. She's wearing number six. Has not seen any action here today, but she is the lone sophomore. That's, that's very interesting to me. I mean, in, in collegiate sports, doing a lot of recruiting down there. Wesleyan does not have a lot of veteran presence. A lot of the Lady Wolves getting in a lot of some substantial playing time in this game. And the Lady Lions, with their veteran presence on the court, will now take a 10-1 to commanding lead here in match number one. And Brett, as Nick talked about, it's been a year and a half since these teams have mm -hmm. seen action. You've got an all-freshman team. They're only second opportunity to play together as a team. It's going to take a while to build the chemistry. Some of these Lady Lions have been playing together before they even got to Piedmont. As King's rejected, beautiful dig from DiCarlo. Herrera blocked as well. We'll return to the chemistry aspect here in a second as DiCarlo goes down and gets it. This one's set up. Roberts put her hand through it. And that would have been the hardest shot of the day if it didn't clip net. But the Lady Lions leading 11-1 to 1 inside of Cave Arena. We talked about baseball earlier. I would love to know the exit velocity off of Roberts' is, is hits over the nets. I mean, her kills have to be coming at least 67 miles an hour yeah. over that net. She is bringing it. Love with the set. Beautiful backwards dump over. Herrera trying to make a hang. Shaw's going to have to just dump it over. Duncan, love, put her hand through it. Did Eno DK. And that will be the Wolves' second point here. Yeah, we've seen the ball have to be reinflated a couple times. I think I'm going to credit those to Alina Roberts <laughs> until further notice. Yeah, her, her and Brianna King have, have just been smacking the ball over the net today as they have combined for four kills thus far in match number one. Brianna King has done a great job today, again, replacing, as I believe King touched the net on her follow-through will be the call, but does a great job replacing Erica Balkum. Graduated senior who is no longer with us here. And I think that's that a very a great leave. That's a, a very leave. underrated play that she's made a lot today. She's been able to have the discipline and the presence to just let the ball go out. We've seen a lot of plays to where the ball would have been out of bounds and either the Lions or the Wolves are hitting. Brianna King has made some good plays over there, just letting it go. Yeah, court awareness, knowing where she's at. Service from Chadwell handled well. Herrera got a good touch to it. Will come for the back line of DiCarlo. That's an aggressive shot. Duncan handled well. An illegal touch will be the call on Love. As Lady Lions now go up 13-3. Missing Erica Balkum. Allie Wilkins as well. Laney Schwanier. Some names that I spent a couple years calling up here. Now have moved on. 
from their Lady Lions career, but the new young blood has taken over here as the Lady Lions continue their domination of set number one, 14 to three. And more or less, there's just a lot of unforced errors by Wesleyan that if they clean up, they will get right back in this contest. Hey, Brett, this is one of my favorite lineups out on the floor at the moment. You've got Yancey, the middle blocker. Roberts, one of the outside blockers on D, can handle challenges by herself. And then King on that left side. Chadwell doing a great job serving here, put in some difficult balls that are troubling the Wolves. We've really seen her and DiCarlo, the two best servers so far today for the Lady Lions. Back line set from Chadwell, beautiful ball towards Roberts, couldn't time it well enough. As I believe we will have an injury timeout. So we'll take a short break here. You're listening to Piedmont College Athletics on YouTube. Back on the broadcast, injury timeout here. The player being looked at is Latavia Ray, was helped off by a couple members of the Wesleyan staff. That point has not been scored, so I'm not quite sure what way it went. Again, the whistle for the injury came at the same time they also that never play signaled. concluded. Yeah, yeah, there was no signal. So that's what we were discussing during the break if we... Yeah, I don't, I don't know if in volleyball that an injury whistle blows the play dead and you do it again. I think the players are just as confused as we are. Okay, so Wesleyan's going to serve, so I'm assuming the point went to Wesleyan. But it was 15-3 to three before that Yeah, it was 15-3 before that, so then it should be 15-4. And as you can see on your online scoreboard, it is still 15-3. to three. And that was Lativia Ray that went down. She is getting attended to by medical personnel now on Wesleyan's sideline. We hope she is okay. Yeah, that's Stephanie Smart, the athletic trainer here at Piedmont College, taking a look at her. Wesleyan not traveling with their own athletic trainer, which is fine. Piedmont College has some fantastic athletic trainers, Courtney Zimba. Stephanie Smart, who just gave us a wave up here. Empty Cave Arena, you can't hear us very well in this arena. Both teams are likely able to hear us, Brett. Yeah, kind of weird to think about. I, I've, I know when we called women it's in men's basketball, they said they could hear us on the court. So uh, definitely something weird to think about. We still do not have a point signal. Piedmont will serve. And I guess ball don't lie because it's straight out yeah. of bounds from Chadwell after she had served well over four or five so i guess we're gonna have a point that just doesn't count in this game then yeah, very interesting we'll have to we'll have to give again, get yeah, some i don't, I don't know that. that much about volleyball to understand that one yeah. either way substitutions coming here 15-4 set number one chadwell did exit after going on her run and back to serve will be the lone sophomore christina buck seeing her first action today from Katy, Texas. 
Well, it was a beautiful service, but we had a whistle for some reason as King throws that one into the net. It's going to get a good laugh out of all their teammates. It's good to see we can still have fun. Most definitely. So we'll do it again. Buck's service just as pretty as the first time. Herrera dropped it to Roberts. Able to make a great hang as Duncan. This one coming back over with pace. Hoskins had it dug by DiCarlo. Great punch back over. Davis now puts her hand through it. Awkward shot, handled well by King. Dumped to Yancey, blocked as Yancey, able to keep it alive. King now, but she touched the net. Goodness gracious, Salah, that's up here on the catwalk with us now, Davis. Yeah, that ball is now up on the catwalk. Who's going to get it? <laughs> it's going to be our producer, Nick Pope. Going to take a nice <laughs> jog over to go get that one. Normally fans would snag it, but again, USA South policy for indoor sports is no fans at all. Set up to Roberts here, went cross court. Love able to keep it alive. Hoskins put her hand through it, but it will be too short. As Nick will now throw the ball back down to our head SID, Daniel Percival. Just giving everybody a shout out while we can. Yeah, I don't see that too often. That was almost like a foul ball right there, head up to the stands. You hardly ever see that. Roberts with a hard low line drive. It was handled well and now played out the back by the Wolves. It looks like Roberts is going to serve and then almost charge forward to the right outside hitter position. Yancey still locking down the middle. King and Herrera up front with her there as this one will be out the back by Yancey. 17-6 as Yancey exits. Ballon will come on to join that back line. And yeah, you mentioned there, it was a very, very interesting setup having your server come in from the back and then go up on the right side there. Love to serve. McDonald and Davis did their usual swap for Wesley and King now. A little bit too far away on that one. Don't know if it was blocked or if it even went over. Redmond challenged it. It will move to 17 to 7. Players again wearing masks. That's another part of the USA South policy. You see our ball boys, Matt Crumley, Lil Tech Lamarium. Wiping down, sanitizing the balls after each point. Both Another men's policy soccer. as well. Yeah, both, both men's, men's soccer, soccer players as well. So if you're used to hearing those names or you want to hear their names in action, make sure to subscribe. Piedmont College Athletics on YouTube. Busy, busy semester here at Piedmont, beautiful Demarest, Georgia. As the Wolves have looked to build a comeback here at 17-8. Yancey put her hand through it. And the block was a good one, just on the wrong side of the net for Hoskins. 18 to 8, Piedmont. And Yancey 5-9 playing on that front line right there. She could come over every time and try to uh, get a kill there. And she's able to extend the line's lead back to 10. 5-9 for Yancey is a little bit generous. I think it's or actually probably undersizing her. I'd assume Yancey probably somewhere around 5-10, 5 That's a great shot by McDonald. Wolves able to scramble. Yancey, the middle blocker, got there, just couldn't quite dump it back over. A good look there. King will exit. The freshman Taylor Herman back on. As Duncan for the Wolves will head back to serve. Good left-hand strike. Dug well by Shaw. Herrera tried to keep it alive and get it to McDonald. Couldn't quite do it. And since Wesleyan has tried to stop forcing stuff over the net and having these unforced errors, they've really been able to mount a, a bit of a comeback here, a bit of a run, if you would. Yeah, really, once you remove the unforced errors, Wesleyan plays very well matched up against Piedmont here. Good job by Herrera to keep this one away. Somehow this one gets poked over. Piedmont now scrambling. Shaw, Herrera outside McDonald, blocked. Good hang by Herman. Do it again, miscommunication, and a poor set. Piedmont still scrambling. This one sneaks over Yancey. Ballin to a knee, able to keep it alive. McDonald put her hand through it again, it's blocked. And the front line of Wesleyan dominating the front line of Piedmont on the defensive end. Five underclassmen out there on the floor. Yancey, the only upperclassman, being a junior. Left-handed service handled by Shaw. Now to Herrera to Yancey. Put her hand through it, it's a play on off the ceiling. And a slight miscommunication between, I believe it was Duncan 
and Shayna McDonald for Wesleyan will lead to the point. The libero Shaw back to serve, 19-11. The score here as she puts that one in, a beautiful shot. Buck let it go thinking it was out, but it does find its intended target. Felt like I was playing four square back in elementary school, just barely getting that one in the corner. Yeah, beautiful shot, well placed from Shaw here. Good scramble, Ballon. Poor set from Herrera. Chadwell made it work. Chadwell, the middle blocker, got a touch. Herrera, cross, McDonald dumps it over. Love with a great dig. And a beautiful shot attempted by Hoskins there. We'll go out, Piedmont lead back to double digits. And Ballon just able to show some more of that discipline there, not going after, recognize the out of bounds, able to extend the Lions lead back out to 10. And that time, Herman will let it go out of bounds. And the Lions three points away from winning the first match here, 22 to 11. Shaw will serve from the back yet again. Beautiful left-handed strike, knuckle ball. This one will go out. Has it knuckled a little bit too far away. Piedmont still with a solid lead. The formerly injured player, Latavia Ray, coming back on. Four number six, Christina Buck. So good to see Ray come back on and into the game there. Service handled by Ballin. Herrera with the set. Chadwell running. Kind of dump over. Duncan did her best to avoid the table. Would have been her second run in with the table today. As if you didn't join us for the first game, she went crashing into the empty table there. Almost met it yet again. And Duncan showing some great effort, able to come all the way over here in the out of bounds line in basketball and been able to make some great plays for the Wolves. Ballon will exit. Roberts back on that front line. Another dominant front line here of Roberts, Chadwell, and McDonald. Back line kill attempt will be no good from Hoskins. Here is Piedmont now one point away. Another tall line, Brett, for Piedmont. 5'9", McDonald. Chadwell listed at 5'10", and then Roberts listed at 6 foot. This one gets over the front line, but will be set up for McDonald. McDonald is going to be blocked. Handled well by Love. Ray put her hand through it. Piedmont scrambling. McDonald back over. Love tried to settle it. This one somehow survives. Set up to Roberts. Roberts dumps over. Beautiful drop shot from Alina Roberts, and that will put an end to set number one here. Piedmont wins it 25-12. So at the end of one set, we'll take a break here. You're listening to Piedmont College Athletics on YouTube.
back on the broadcast. Davis Barlow, Brent Loftus. Set number two coming up. Piedmont dominated set number one like they did in game number one. This is game two of the doubleheader. Piedmont won the first one in straight sets, three to nothing. And that long horn means we are good to get started. At least you timed it up this game to where the ring right in your ear there, Davis. Stars, yeah, much of, better. stars of the first set, Brianna King, she started in the first game. She had three kills and then two kills apiece coming from Hannah Kate Chadwell, Yancey, and Roberts. And those are who you want leading your team in kills, your outside hitters. Looking good so far. Piedmont lining up Taylor Brown into the game, heads to the service area. Today's libero. Excuse me, this game's libero, Mary Grace Shaw. Jacqueline Sampson on that back of the line as well. And then the front line, McDonald, Chadwell, and Roberts. Bunch of different front line combos, Brett, all of them dominant. Yeah, 25 to 12 in that first game. And it had some tall lady lines up there. And we see the same one here, Chadwell, able to come over. Good idea by Roberts to try to dump that one back. Brown tried to make a hang. This one intended for Roberts. She put a beautiful shot over it, clipped net. Love out of bounds, look, try to get it back in. This one now dumped over. Sampson, Brown, Roberts got blocked. Great hang by Shaw. McDonald got it to go over. And we have a whistle in stoppage. And it will be on Ray for crossing under the net. Wow, that's disappointing that that's how that play ends. Yeah, that was a great that's play. That's almost one of the ones where you really didn't get in the way. Let her let her play on. <laughs> and Landon McDonald with her first kill of her collegiate career right there. So congratulations to her there. This one played back over. Shaw handles. Brown cross to McDonald. Tried to make it a second one, and she's rejected. That's number one on the block. Eno DK. As Davis will come back in for McDonald. We mentioned her name a lot, Eno DK. Makes a lot of plays over there for Wesleyan. She's also was the best server they had. I think she had five straight serves there in game one. <laughs> that was Ayana Hoskins that was just looking up here in our direction. Again, the players can hear us very well down on the court. Gave us a nod of approval. As a second point will go to Wesleyan. Actually, Davis, I think they credit that in Piedmont's favor. Yeah, they did. So it seems well, it's a rotational issue. Either way, Piedmont's McDonald will check out to Carlo checks back in. I believe it was a rotational issue. I don't know. The ref was talking to Love about something. Either way, DiCarlo puts it back over. And classic broadcaster jinx, it does not get all the way over. <laughs> DiCarlo, like I said, we've seen her serve really well today. And she has had three very good serves so far in that first set. Can I get that one over in the second set? Hard service here will blow DiCarlo back. As it will now be three to two Wesleyan here in set number two. Good firm strike here. DiCarlo handles this one well. Set. Chadwell, she put her hand through it. Davis does a great job to at least keep it up temporarily. But this one will roll out the back. As the substitutions will be made, Shaw heads off, Yancey back on. And Chadwell back to serve. And that's why Chadwell's playing on the front line right there. A great kill from the sophomore. Beautiful service as well. Forced McDonald to die for that one. Roberts was all over that. Didn't even need to be as it slammed into the net. Piedmont back in the lead. Yeah, as we mentioned there, the Wolves playing a lot better in the second set. Able to kind of keep it close. The Lions are actually having to scratch here as they're only up by one, four to three. <laughs> Wolves can't bounce this one back over. Another beautiful service from Chadwell. Brett, something to note. We talked about how Wesleyan's roster is all freshmen. Piedmont College not sporting any seniors on their roster. So everyone will return next season should they choose. Blocked by Yancey, slammed by Yancey, handled by Duncan. Beautiful little drop shot attempt. Brown returns the favor. And Piedmont now leads six to three. Excuse me, there is one senior on the roster. Sorry, you dig it around. There is one senior on the roster, Alina Roberts, which is a big piece 
of this Lady Lions team, but only one. As Chadwell's service will be short. 6-4 here, Chadwell checks out. As the back line now sits Shaw, DiCarlo, and Sampson. Handled by Shaw. Brown set up, fake to Roberts. Gave it to Sampson, and that one's put home. Beautiful shot there from Sampson. Two more subs coming down. Roberts and Brown will exit. It will be Phelps, number five, coming on. And Caroline Fuentes seeing her first action today. The freshman defense specialist, five foot three from Meadow Place, Texas, out in Dallas. Coming duels, there. excuse me. Come in there and get an ace. Start us off there. Yeah, great look for her. First collegiate point as well, I believe. Also a great assist there on the previous point by Sarah DiCarlo, her first assist of today's game. Good look here, Yancey. Tried to elevate for that one, did not get a piece of it, which is good because it's out the back. As Piedmont's lead now extended to nine to four. Service is a good one, dug over beautifully, blocked by Yancey. Ray to Love, to Carlo, set. Put your hand through it, Phelps, it's handled well. Love here with a beautiful set. Lady Lions handle it well. Sampson back, and she'll play it cross court, but out. Good look there from Jacqueline Sampson. And I know Shaw is wearing the white libero jersey, but Sarah DiCarlo playing just like a libero over there on that left side, catching up a lot of the trash there to the back line. Yeah, DiCarlo a fantastic defensive specialist for the Lady Lions. Love, serve across, handled by Shaw. Set, Yancey didn't get her hand through it like she'd like. Wesley able to make a great hang here. As this one will be set up for Phelps. Had it blocked, but it won't matter. As the Wolves fail to return it, the game moves 10 to five. And we mentioned Fuentes making her college debut there. She just set up two very good balls there and back-to-back -back plays for the Lions to get that point there. DiCarlo exits. Elena McDonald back on for the Lady Lions. Service handled by Ray, will be put over by the McDonald in purple. Piedmont's McDonald back over. Set from Love was a beautiful one. Shaw can't get to it. And the Wolves continue to hang around. If you're just joining us, Piedmont College in the green, white numbers, Wesleyan in the red, or excuse me, in the purple with white numbers, both teams in black shorts. The liberos today are in white. It will be Duncan to serve. Handled by Fuentes. This one behind Yancey. She does a good job just to dump it over. To get back in the formation. And a powerful strike over will not be handled by Phelps. Yeah. McDonald with the hit right there for Wesleyan. It was a great kill. A lot of power coming behind that punch as Duncan will send that one into the net. Lions will extend their lead back out to four. Yancey exits, Chadwell back in. And it will now go to Shaw. Chadwell leading the Lions in points thus far with a four. Good setup here, good block from Phelps. McDonald across, love this set. Hoskins had to just dump it over. Fuentes. Cross, it's tight on net. Good job by McDonald to at least get it over. Double touch from the Wolves will lead to a Piedmont College point. We've seen McDonald over there on that far side getting set up very well by her teammates, and she is capitalizing. Shaw putting in good work on the service, and I cannot get away from the jinx <laughs> as I'm not able to get my fin sentence finished before that one goes net and down. And we'll move to a Wolves service. Good dig for McDonald. Fuentes scrambled to it. Newly subbed in, Ballin got it over. Shaw now. Fuentes. McDonald. Handled by Duncan. Set from Love. Ray had to go low. Shaw with a good set. Better set from Fuentes, just barely out the back from Chadwell there. 
Missed opportunity as the Wolves have scratched back to three. And Fuentes, since we've seen coming into the game, she has made some absolute immaculate setups here to put the Lions in perfect placing. Yeah, good attacking positions created here. Fuentes is going to need another one. Beautiful from Fuentes. Going to be a carry either way. No on Chadwell there, but it will fall short. As the Wolves have scratched back to two. Service handled by McDonald's. Fuentes went behind her to Roberts. It was an awkward one. Excuse me, to Phelps. We got a good hit to it. This one to Shaw is out, and she'll let it land there. As Roberts will now check back in. And yet again, as we see Fuentes coming out, Brown come back in for Phelps. Fuentes had a great couple of points there, able to put up a lot of balls and able to set up the Lady Lions in possession, able to get some good kills there. 13-10, the score here in set number two. Piedmont did win set number one. Beautiful scramble from the Wolves, just can't quite be completed as the Lady Lions able to maintain that four-point lead. Brown will do it again, given the whistle and the go-ahead. Long, hard strike. Played back over well by McDonald. Brown now on the set, just dumps it over. A beautiful no look. As Brown continues to impress today. Saw Brooklyn Gunn with a very similar shot there in the first game. And that is just so hard to defend because it is unexpected. Again, Brown's stellar game one has looked just as good in her playing time in game two. Ballin able to make a hang. Brown with a beautiful set. Roberts with a beautiful little drop shot over. And the Lady Lions started to get it rolling. Six point lead here in set number two. And Davis, it seems like the Wolves can deal better with the heat than they can with the slower passes coming over the net, or the slower points rather. After that Alina Roberts drop shot, Wesleyan wants a timeout. We'll take it with them. You're listening to Piedmont College Athletics on YouTube. Welcome back, Piedmont College Athletics on YouTube. I'm Brett Loftus. Alongside me is Davis Barlow. We have Piedmont College Volleyball here, game two of this doubleheader. Opening day here, rather should I say opening night for Piedmont Lions Volleyball in this 2021 campaign. Lions are up 16 to 10 right now in the second set. They won the first set by a score of 25 to 12. Yeah, not as many highlights through this game for the Wolves as game number one, all Piedmont this time around. Scramble for the ball here. Brown will set up Chadwell. Chadwell just gets it over. The Wolves are scrumming for it. Ray able to get it over. Brown gets to it, but not able to get enough air under it. As the Wolves are calling back, only down by five now. now. Again, not too many statistical bright spots for the Wolves. Their kills leader is Hoskins at two. On the flip side, Piedmont's kill leader is well spread around, but Hannah Kate Chadwell with three, Roberts with three, King with three. You see Davis check back in for McDonald. She will serve here for the Wolves. Brown will set up Roberts, and she's coming across with the sauce as that will extend the Lions lead back out to six now, 17 to 11. And with that, Roberts will take over as the kill leader to Carlo back in for McDonald. Sampson in for Ballon. And this has been the main lineup that we've seen run here in the second game. DeCarlo serving here. 
And just as I say that, I feel like Davis with the broadcaster's jinx, <laughs> we will lose that serve. Lines lead is now at 17 to 12, up by five. Our producer, Nick Pope, as if you tune into game one, laughing at me over there in the production chair. Will be a fault on the service. So the lines will get that one right back. Yeah, something we haven't seen today. Looking back at the line statistics, some good work put in today, or excuse me, in game number two from the libero Shaw. Seven digs. DiCarlo follows up behind her with five. Herrera also with five as well. Hannah Kate Chadwell will be serving here for the Lions. No libero in the game as Shaw just took a seat. The freshman from Lancaster, South Carolina. That one got over. The Wolves are struggling. Duncan able to get it back over. And Yancey couldn't hit it twice. That one lands on Yancey's head. Yeah. Don't think that still counts as a second touch. You are allowed to hit it with your head, just not twice. Matt Crumley and Lowell Teclamarian know all about that the men's soccer player. The ball boys down there on the court. But yeah, cannot hit it twice. Wolves will serve it. Brown. Set up Roberts. Roberts just going to send it back over the net. Can't get a hand to that one. Hoskins sends that one right into the net. Lions six points away from winning set number two, 19 to 13. As Fuentes and Phelps will check back in for Brown and Roberts here, and Fuentes will come in and now serve for the Lions. This will be Fuentes' first time serving here, I believe, so this should be interesting. Fuentes gets it over. Nice set up there for Hoskins. Great dig there by Shaw. Sampson able to send it back over. Almost touches the roof again here in Cave Arena. Duncan will just send that one back over the net. DiCarlo, Fuentes, who's going to get it? DiCarlo, send that one back over. Wolves looking for something. Get it back over. Brown, excuse me, Fuentes sets up Phelps. Hoskins will get over the net, but she'll be blocked by Yancey. Yancey gets it again! And that will extend the Lions' lead back out to seven now is Yancey with the block and then the kill on back-to-back -back hits there. Yeah, beautiful solo block there from Aubrey Yancey, able to land and then just send it straight back over. Again, Yancey at 5'9 is a generous listing to the other team. I feel like she's much more closer to 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 I would definitely have to agree. Samson will be blocked. I believe she touched the net yeah. will be the call. I agree there, Davis. So we will have another substitution as Davis will check out and the McDonald before the Wolves will check back in. Yeah, that rotation been run all day. McDonald playing the front, Davis playing the back. McDonald has also came out so that Davis could serve here. DiCarlo able to take the heat on that one. Sampson gets it over the net. Hoskins was going to go for it. Duncan sends it over. Fuentes, Sampson. Sampson put a good hand on it, but it would go just left and out of bounds. The Wolves calling back here, only down by five in set number two. Well, the Wolves doing their best to hang on here, need to get back into this one as Love serves. Love will send it over to Carlo, picking up that one. Yancey able to get it over. And that will be her second point in four possessions there for the Lions. Yeah, beautiful shot there from Yancey. It was not a good setup, but she made it work. Able to put it back over as McDonald will come back in for DiCarlo on the Piedmont side. It's two McDonald's on the floor, number nine for Piedmont and number eight for Wesleyan. Jacqueline Sampson back to serve for Piedmont. Duncan gets a piece of that one. Now setting up McDonald. Yancey able to block it, but then they'll go off the head of Phelps. As clawing back here, Piedmont will score one, and then Wesleyan will score one. 21 to 16, yet another substitution is NODK will come back in for Redmond. And if you're Piedmont College, you'll take it. You're leading by five, so trading blows will get you the set number two win. Yancey comes across with the sauce, a little too much sauce, as that one will go out of bounds on the far side over there as the Wolves are steadily calling back here, 21-17. Lions need to close this out while they can. 
Duncan with the serve, left-handed serve. Fuentes would just put it over the net. And the Wolves cannot get enough air under that one to get it back over. Great play there by Fuentes with the fake setup as Chadwell will check back in the game. Yancey will take a seat for Piedmont. Will be Shaw to serve for the Lady Lions. Handle well. Libero to Libero. Hoskins coming over the net. Excuse me, NODK. And NODK with a great kill there. Puts it where nobody was at. As again, treading blows is the game right now here in the second set, 22 to 18. Piedmont still in the lead. Back to serve now will be Hoskins. Gets that one over the net. Ballin, Fuentes will set up Phelps. Phelps gets it back over. Duncan, Ray, oh, nice block there by Phelps. McDonald sends it back over. Scramble for the ball. McDonald will send it back over. Ballin, Fuentes. Phelps with the kill, and Duncan could not handle that one. So the Lions now two away from going up 2-0 here in the second game. Roberts and Brown will come back in for Phelps and Fuentes. Brown back to serve that dominant front line of the Lady Lions, looking to put the kibosh on set number two. Roberts, Chad, Well. And McDonald on that front line played well all day. We're going to get an ace here from Brown as we're only one point away now, 24 to 18. Brown comes in to serve, does not disappoint on that one as Westland cannot return the point here and game point here in set number two. Duncan able to get some air under that one and a block by Chadwell will end the second set by a score of 25 to 18. The Lions are on top two to nothing here as we head in the third set. You're listening to Piedmont College Athletics on YouTube.
Welcome back here, Piedmont College Athletics on YouTube. I'm Brett Loftus alongside me, Davis Barlow, heading to the third set here. And the Lions won all three sets in game number one. Game number two, they're up two to nothing, looking to sweep today here and sweep the doubleheader to begin Piedmont Lions Volleyball's 2021 campaign. Yeah, campaign different looking than normal, a little bit shorter than what we're accustomed to. Again, play starting today, March 9th. It actually concludes April 10th, so only about a month and not too many contests scheduled for the Lady Lions. A many of double headers, the first being today. Mercado in the game. She's going to have to send that one over the net. Duncan will play it. Wolves trying to send it back, and it will be an illegal. Yeah, an illegal touch by someone on the Wolves. I think it was a legal touch by Love there. Yeah, fortunate break for the Lady Lions as their first touch went off of the basketball goal here in Cave Arena. It is play on, as we discussed during game one, most regular volleyball gyms do have an extended ceiling for the purpose of nothing like that happening, but Cave Arena, a multi-use arena, does have women's and men's basketball in here as well, not designed specifically for volleyball. Herman will check in for McDonald to serve here. Duncan makes a great play. Hoskins sends that one back over the net. And a great dig by Shaw. Just can't get enough air under that one. Because that will even up the third set here at one and one. Brooklyn Gunn making her first appearance here in game number two. She had substantial playing time in game one. Reagan Mercado now, who started game one, getting her first playing time here in game number two in the third set. And yet again, another illegal serve that time by NODK. And that will, give, again, give the Lions a lead here 2-1. to one. Yeah, it wouldn't have mattered either way. Service did not go over the net for the Wesleyan Wolves. But either way, Piedmont will serve. Shaw will check back out. Yancey will check back on the floor for Piedmont. Chadwell serves. Duncan able to get a piece of that one. Love. Hoskins. Great dig there by Chadwell. Another great dig there by Gunn to get that one over the net. And the Wolves cannot return it there. So two great digs for the Lions, and that's going to extend their lead now three to one. And the Kate Chadwell, sophomore from Brunswick, Georgia, on the serve here. Since that one over, Duncan gets a piece of it. Love. And that was just going to be sent out by Redmond there. As the Lions have now run one, three straight points. Chadwell going back for her fourth serve attempt in a row. Chadwell deadly back there on the service. Causing a lot of trouble for the Wolves. She's able to play that back line too. Mercado gets a piece of it. Herman just sends it over. His love gets that one over. A great dig by Herman. Gunn gets it over. And it's going to be a net violation there by Gunn. It's only the second point of the set scored by the Wolves there. Now back to serve for Wesleyan will be Ray. Ray's going to serve it. Herman able to make a play on it. Gunn will set up Mercado. Mercado able to get that one across. A great play fake there by Yancey. Yancey. Attempted to go for the kill, or rather, should I say, faked the kill, and then Mercado able to get the kill there to extend the Lions' lead back to three. Yeah, Yancey had me sold on that fake. I fully was expecting to see her put her hand through that one. And she got everyone in the building. Chadwell still the leading points leader for the Lady Lions at five. Fuentes will score, will, excuse me, will set here off of the net as Davis could not get it back over. And another ace here for Fuentes. Yeah, beautiful service there. Fuentes putting in some good minutes, has two aces on the day. Get that one up in the air. Love trying to set up Redmond. She does. Shaw, Fuentes, Yancey. And Yancey looking fancy with that kill as that will extend the Lions lead back out to five, seven to two here in Cave Arena. Set number three. Yancey, a right-handed player, able to just dump it over with that left hand right there. Showing the versatility of the middle blocker. Fuentes gets that one up. Love will set up Hoskins. Tried to get a block there. Went off of Yancey's fingertips. With the Wolves 
We'll score that one now back to serve for Wesleyan will be Love. Checking back in, McDonald will come in for Davis. Brittany Davis, not Davis Barlow. Davis Barlow no. up here in the booth I'm with me. I'm still up here. Today. Still hanging out. Love will send that one, and that will be an ace. Is that one just about went out of bounds, able to sneak in there. Mercado and Shaw trying to get on the same page there. Yeah, I think I think Mercado and Shaw got a little bit lost there. Some good laughter out of the bench, though, as well. This is a learning experience for all Lady Lions. Fuentes will set up Phelps. Great play there by Duncan. Hoskins gets it back across, and that one will go out as the Lions will win that one extend the lead back to four. Yeah, eight to four here in Cave Arena. Set number three, set number five on the day. The Lady Lions have taken all five sets thus far. Need one more to complete the two-game victory. Mercado now back to serve. First collegiate serve here. Duncan coming over the net will be McDonald. McDonald able to get that one as the Wolves are staying in here. Only down by three. We'll see a substitution. Yeah, Piedmont's McDonald will exit. Or excuse me, Piedmont McDonald will come on as well as Becca Ballin for Mercado and Herman. Duncan now serving for Wesleyan. Fuentes set up Yancey. And that one will go in the favor of Piedmont as it was tipped at the net by Wesleyan. Chadwell will now step back onto the court as Yancey takes a seat for Piedmont. Shaw will be serving here for Piedmont. Duncan able to do something with that one. And ODK able to put that one in the far back corner as the Wolves will not go away here 9-6 to six early on in set number three. Yeah, some good topspin on that ball. Hit it hard at Ballin. Thought it was out, but that topspin keeps it in. Great serve there. Low line drive. Fuentes and Phelps will have her shot blocked, but it lands on the correct side there as the Lions able to win that point. Roberts will come back in for Fuentes. Gunn coming back in for Phelps. And now Brooklyn Gunn, the freshman from York, South Carolina, representing 864 there, will be serving here for the Lions, and she will get called, excuse me, will get called Wesleyan. Had a violation here, so the Lions will in that point. Davis, you know what's going on there, the reason for the violation. I believe it's called. rotational violations is what it looks like, judging by the referee's motion. Again, empty cave arena sometimes can hear, difficult to hear the ref with his mask on. Ballin. Gun will set up Chadwell. Great dig there by Duncan. But the Wolves cannot get that one back across the net as the lines are doubling here in set number two. Not Ireland, just doubling 12 to six. Gun back her third straight serve here. Duncan will receive it. Some miscommunication there. Hoskins fell on the floor trying to recover that one. Could not get to it as we will have a timeout here called by Wesleyan. We'll take it with them, 13 to six here. Set number three, lines up 2-0 here. You're listening to Piedmont College Athletics on YouTube. Welcome back here at Piedmont College Athletics on YouTube. Brett Loft is alongside me, Davis Barlow, our production guy. Nick Pope came down here and explained why we're getting all these calls on Westland. Yeah, and we're on the same path as gun service will be out. 
good timing to explain here. So what's happening is the rotational issues. You have to sub in, as we see, Davis and McDonald. The only way to avoid playing on the front line or the, and the back line, the only way to avoid that is to be subbed out, as we just saw. What happens is you basically go in a circle. You go in a clockwise mm -hmm. motion or a counterclockwise motion, depending on how it goes as the ball is in play here. Gunn able to send that one up in the air. McDonald trying to send it back over the net and will send it right into the net, 13-8. But, yeah, basically you go in a circle. You have six positions on the floor. three up front and mm -hmm. three in the back. Mm -hmm. And you are allowed to switch, basically, your positions if you're Wesley and you choose not to sub. However, you must line up with three in the front who are supposed to be in the front and three in the back who are supposed to be in the back. And you can move once the service is made. And the issue with Wesley is they are moving or not setting up properly before the serve is made. McDonald will send that one out of bounds, 13-9 now. And basically, for those of you that watch football, it's basically just an illegal formation call in the form of volleyball. Or a false start as well, it yeah. could be categorized. Beautiful shot. Gunn will send that one back over the net. Love able to get a piece of it there. Cannot do anything with it. Lines able to muster up another point, 14-9. Mercado will check in for Ballin Herman checks in for McDonald and now on the serve here will be the freshman Taylor Herman from Roswell, Georgia. Yeah, back to the action here. Lady Lions looking to get back on track and extend their lead again. Wolves able to send another one over the net. Fuentes will set up Chadwell. Beautiful shot there from Anakate Chadwell. Gunn put it exactly where it needed to be for the shot. Gun that Chadwell was looking. Excuse me. Yes, I said gun. gun well, yeah. just combined them. Might as well make that the new combo, though. <laughs> Send that one over the net. It will be called out as it did not quite sneak into the left post there. Ray sends that one out as Herman will go back now for her third straight serve here. Looking to potentially close it out. The line's nine points away. 16 to nine here in set number three. Duncan able to dig that one out. Love, give that one to Ray. Gun setting up Mercado, freshman to freshman. Love to see it. Love was trying to set up Ray. Ray slips down there on the court, and the Lions will win that point now, 17 to nine. Yeah, Lady Lions sit eight points away from wrapping up a brilliant day in Cave Arena and a beautiful home opener. Here was a beautiful day in Demers, Georgia. Night has now fallen here. Still a beautiful night as well. Bit of a warmer day with all these cold winter days we've had. Looking forward to spring here in Demarest. Herman still on the serve here. Broadcaster's jinx as that one will hit the top of the net. As now the score will go 17 to 10 in favor of the Lions. Back to serve now will be NODK as Duncan will come out the libero today for the Wolves. Gun sets up Mercado. Mercado with the kill as Davis could not handle the sauce. Extend the Lions lead now back out to eight, 18 to 10 here in set number three. Brett, as we near the end of this broadcast, if you haven't subscribed, Piedmont College Athletics on YouTube, you're going to want to do that. Don't want to miss any of the action here at Piedmont College. Next up is women's soccer versus Agnes Scott, 7 o'clock Friday night. Nowhere else you'd rather be on a Friday night in Demers, Georgia. Most definitely Nick Pope and I potentially going to be on the call for that one. Have not done soccer this year yet, so all you Lions soccer fans be prepared to be wild as the Lady Lions have been playing very, very good football this year thus far. It's a great play there by Davis and Duncan trying to get it back over the net, but the Lions will win that point now 19 to 11. Duncan slow up, but she will be helped back to her feet, and she is all good down there. Well, she went down hard. A beautiful effort there to try to get that one back over. And, Brett, as you talked about, soccer on Friday. But a slow weekend here for the first time since we have returned yeah. in this spring semester as Roberts and Gunn exit Brown and Phelps back on. Only yeah. contest is and if soccer. you do, if you are on the campus of Piedmont College, you can come out Saturday and check out men's and women's tennis as they will be participating and they will be playing. But not a lot going on here at Piedmont College Athletics this weekend for the exception of women's soccer on Friday night. That's going to be a great kill there from Hoskins 
able to come over the net now to draw the deficit back down to seven as we have a substitution McDonald back in for Davis. And unfortunately, Brett, that would that offer to come take a look at the Piedmont women and men's tennis teams is only available to students, faculty, and staff and parents at this time. So no community members, no outside fans. That is per USA South policies. And if you are confused on spectator policy, go to PiedmontLions.com to check out more information and more clarity on that one. The Lions will win that point 20 to 12. Now we'll see another substitution. McDonald will re-enter as Herman will take a seat. Mercado back to serve here for the Lions. Mercado sends it over, and that one will go just right on the near side of the out-of-bounds line. Over here, back to seven is the deficit for the Wolves. Mercado will check out. Becca Ballin will re-enter the game here as Duncan is serving for the Wolves. Left-handed serve will just get over the net. Fuentes, Yancey would get it over. Ray could not do anything with that one. She will tip it in, will go out of bounds. Lines now four away from closing out. A sweep 3-0, 3-0 here in the double header here on opening night of the 2021 campaign. Shell yeah, the Lady Lions looking really good, Brett. Very impressive. Looking very good. I think the rotational depth that they have has shown to definitely help them out a lot. As a lot of the bench players getting some substantial playing time. A lot of your freshmen there, as you see one right there, Shaw trying to dig that one out. Cannot. A lot of the freshmen able to get substantial playing time here in their college debut today, Davis. Yeah, it's good to see. Always good to see the youth get out there again. Piedmont is still figuring out what its starting lineup will be. You've got four really good options, Brett, I think, up front. Very interested to see how that ends as a grunt and slam out of Hannah K. Chadwell. We'll put Piedmont three away. And she is a sophomore, but it seems like her presence out there on the floor puts her as a junior, maybe even a senior. In her freshman season, she appeared in all 29 matches and led the Lady Lions in total blocks. Does not surprise me at all as Chadwell stands at a towering 5'10 out there on the floor. And DK sends a great one, just scrapes into that back line there. The lead now stands at seven for the Lions as McDonald and Davis will do the tango again. Davis being the one to check back into the game and McDonald taking the seat for the Wolves. Davis to serve here. She gets that one over. Shaw plays it. Ballin. Chadwell just puts it over. Duncan able to make a good play on it. Love to DK. And DK with a great kill there as the Wolves. Showing a lot of fight. Actually, that one went out of bounds in favor of the Lions. The Lions two points away now as McDonald will go back to serve here. Her first serve of her collegiate career and potentially two points away here. She could close it out for us here in Cave Arena this evening. And that one will be blocked by Chadwell. Wolves able to get it back over. Gunn will set up Chadwell again. It looked like that one was tipped at the line, but it will be called out. So the Wolves will win that point 23 to 16 now is your score here in set number three. Redmond checks back into the game as Duncan will take a seat for the Wolves in ODK serving for Wesley. And she sends that one into the net as now it is set game and even double header point here. Davis Barlow as Hannah Kate Chadwell back to serve for this final point here of this evening's double header potentially. Yeah, time to time to put it to sleep. If you're the Piedmont Lady and Lions in the block in the middle, we'll do it. We see six foot and five ten there from Yancey and Roberts. Twenty-five to sixteen is how we'll end set number three. Three zero three zero games one and two. Your Piedmont Lady Lions 2021 volleyball team will start off the season two and oh. Next time they will be back in action, will not be here. It will be on March the 14th against LaGrange College. They will be playing a doubleheader at 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. The next time they'll be back in Cave Arena will be on March the 20th as they host Berea at 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. as well. Davis Barley, you got any final thoughts today on this doubleheader? I am very excited to see 
the Lady Lions iron out that first team as well as who will be coming off the bench. We saw a lot of players today really excel in the playing time they were given. I'm looking forward to seeing the remainder of this season and more contests inside Cave Arena. A good luck to the Wesleyan Wolves for the rest of the way as this was the first and only meeting between Piedmont and Wesleyan this season. Looking to iron out the starting lineups. Great to see the freshmen and the youngsters get out there on the floor for the Lions. It's been a year and a half since we've been in Cave Arena doing volleyball and it felt good tonight. The Lions go 3-0 and 3-0 and start out the season 2-0 in the WNL column. For Davis Barlow, Nick Pope, Victor Kanyas, and Brent Loftus, this has been Piedmont College Athletics on YouTube. Stay safe, and may God bless you all.